Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You are very welcome here indeed. So David Sinclair's latest study has shown that he and his team can successfully reverse the age of human cells, this time using chemicals and not genetics. As always, as it seems lately, this latest study has drawn some controversy and has drawn some of the haters out of the shadows. Let's jump in and let's see what all the fuss is about. This is a review of a piece I read that was penned by Fiona MacDonald, where she covers David Sinclair's latest study that was published in the journal Aging, claiming that he and his team from Harvard University have successfully reversed the age of human cells using just drugs. And there are links in the description below to the study and the articles I used to put this presentation together. A team led by the famed, some may say infamous, Harvard Medical School anti-aging researcher David Sinclair have just published a paper showing that a specific mix of chemicals are capable of reversing cellular aging. And if this sounds too good to be true, it could well be. So far, the evidence is only in human cells in the lab. It appears we have a long way to go from testing this on animal models and obviously even further away from human trials. Dr. David Sinclair, a professor in the Department of Genetics at Harvard Medical School wrote in the paper, we identify six chemical cocktails which in less than a week and without compromising cellular identity, restore a youthful genome-wide transcript profile and reverse transcriptomic age. Thus, rejuvenation by age reversal can be achieved, not only by genetic, but also chemical means. Now, if this statement is taken out of cell level context, which some individuals appear to have done for some reason, this amounts to a very bold claim, given how early in the process of research this actually is. So it's unsurprising that there's already some controversy surrounding this particular paper. So let's dive in a little deeper. The study looked at the way our cells lose information as they age, specifically their epigenetic information. As they get older, our cells go from having unlimited potential when we're embryos to separating into just one specific cell type and eventually becoming senescent and then running out of functionality and finally dying. In 2012, Shinya Yamanaka and Sir John Gurdon won a Nobel Prize for showing that this process can actually be reversed. They found that turning on the so-called Yamanaka factors in mammals can turn adult cells back into induced pluripotent stem cells with unlimited potential. A few years later, a team of researchers showed that even temporarily turning on these Yamanaka factors in mice actually made the rodents healthier. Since then, the race has been on to apply the same idea in humans, but without turning the cells cancerous. This is a real risk when you give cells the ability to divide endlessly. Dr. Sinclair's lab has already achieved promising early results. They've been able to use the Yamanaka factors to restore vision in mice and monkeys who had damaged optic nerves. But all this previous work involves gene therapy. It means introducing the Yamanaka genes using a virus, which is expensive, controversial, and not without its complications. The challenge is finding a way to achieve the same results using chemicals that can then be turned into a drug or into a therapy. And this is what Professor Sinclair is saying they've now done at Harvard Medical School. Professor Sinclair from Harvard Medical School says, until recently, the best we could do was to slow aging. The new discoveries suggest we can now reverse it. This process has previously required gene therapy, limiting its widespread use. To figure this out, the team developed a system that distinguishes young cells from those that are now senescent. 
And instead of just looking at genetic factors that are associated with aging, they also looked for real time rates of nucleocytoplasmic protein compartmentalization known as NCC. This is because all cells have leaky nuclear membranes. Using this screening method, the team then showed that they could reverse the rates of NCC in senescent human cells so they can resemble young cells again. This was done using six different chemical cocktails. In their study, the team posted a graph showing the different cocktails, C1 to C6. These were then tested on senescent cells and compared to quinescent cells, which acted as a control group and the age was plotted on their vertical axis. The team is keeping these cocktails confidential at the moment, although Dr. Sinclair has said on Twitter that the team has already found more than the six they tested initially in this paper. The controversy over the study isn't really the study itself, but the claim that they found some kind of anti-aging elixir, where in reality, no animal models have actually been tested yet. Dr. Sinclair stated in a press release, this new discovery offers the potential to reverse aging with a single pill, with applications ranging from improving eyesight to effectively treating numerous age-related diseases. But while the researchers at Harvard Medical School say their new technique for screening cells has promise, it's way too early to jump to those conclusions. Matt Cablin, who leads a lab at the University of Washington Medical Center, has spoken out to the Daily Mail and on Twitter about the risks of overstating this research. If you read his tweet, it has a comment that references Charles Bremer. I think it's safe to say that he, along with Charles Bremer, are firmly in the anti-anything to do with David Sinclair Cabal. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Um, so I've read through the study and I've read through a number of different articles. and I watched a few YouTube videos where people have covered this study. Um, and they're always very clear to say that this shows successful reversing of aging in human cells in a lab. Uh, I don't think anywhere reading what they've said or what they've written in the report can be misconstrued as saying they've now reversed successfully the age of a human being. Um, so I'm not too sure why Matt Cablin and Charles Bremer are so quick to start throwing shade on this stage of the process. I'm sure David Sinclair knows, he does know, that this is done in the lab first, then they're going to move on to animal studies, and then eventually if that's successful, they'll move on to human studies. And once they do it in humans successfully, and it's repeated, then they may say we've successfully reversed the aging in humans. But at the moment, that's not what he's saying. So as I say, I'm not too sure why all the hate. Let me know in the comments below uh, of the video section of YouTube what you think about this study. Do you think it is a good first step with six um, chemical cocktails, if you like, that, will, that could be turned into drugs or turned into therapeutics that you could take that could start to help reverse the aging process and fight off the diseases of aging? 